Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you uh, to our channel on this uh, beautiful day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, in Psalm 24, uh, the Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. I know the people who dwell in it. Praise be to God. Amen and amen. And then uh, towards the end of Psalm 24, the psalmist will say, uh, Be lifted up, all ye everlasting doors, and be lifted up, all ye gates, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. And uh, if you're here for the first time, I want to welcome you to our channel. And uh, also, I want to welcome you to our church. Praise the Lord. This is Solo Drop International Ministries, my local church. This is where I come to have fellowship with other believers and build myself in the faith in the name of the Lord. We are located in the county of Nairobi, uh, in the east of Jericho, uh, next to the Jericho Market, which happens to be opposite the Metropolitan Hospital. Boru Boru, Amen and Amen. And uh, if you're new here, uh, once again, I encourage you to subscribe and uh, join this growing family. And the Lord will bless you. If you know uh, your friends or relatives who happen to be nearby here, uh, kindly recommend our, our church to them and we shall give the Lord all the praise. Today we are in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 10 and we shall read from verse number 28 all the way to verse number 34. We shall pick up from where... We had left. Uh, remember chapter 10 was about you know, God's judgment upon the king of Assyria. All the way from verse 1, he was uh, speaking uh, to the king of Assyria who had become proud, saying that he had moved the boundaries of the nations. Uh, he had gathered all the people together and no one was able to stand in his way. And our topic today is marching up, marching up. We are marching up to Zion. Hallelujah. We are marching up to the city of God. And uh, uh, in the previous video, Isaiah had said that the remnant of, of, of Israel will go back to God and God will uh, break the yoke. He will destroy the yoke. He will take, he will lift up the yoke of the king of Assyria off their shoulders because of the anointing. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was in Isaiah chapter 10 and verse number 27. And today we are picking up from verse number 28. Uh, a picture, a picture of the of how the king of Assyria was going to come up all the way to Mount Zion. Praise the Lord. How he, he was going to invade the kingdom of Israel. And that's why I've said that's why I've said that the topic uh, of our discussion or the topic of our, our devotion today is that we are going up. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Isaiah mentions, uh, he mentions uh, uh, cities of Israel and the towns of, of Israel that, were, uh, that had a uh, significant history in the nation of Israel. And uh, he says that uh, from verse number 28, Isaiah says that the king of Assyria will pass through Migron. And Migron... Uh, was uh, in the old days at the time of King Saul uh, very significant. Uh, it was a battlefield where Jonathan, the son of, of Saul, Jonathan, the son of Saul, with his armor bearer, defeated about 600 Philistines, two men against 600 uh, soldiers, and God gave Israel a great victory. Amen. And remember, we started by saying, Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. Praise the Lord. And as just says, he will pass through my groom. And as I say, Jonathan was used by God together with his armor bearer to defeat the Philistines at my groom. And in verse 29, the Bible says that Rama, Rama is afraid. Rama is afraid. Isaiah mentions uh, uh, many cities and towns of the old kingdom of Israel, but we shall just summarize. We shall summarize uh, these cities, you know, uh, 
and just pick out a few and see uh, what is the uh, significance of these cities. Praise the Lord in our topic today. Amen. As just says in verse 29, Rama, Rama is so free. Glory be to God. And Gibeah of Saul has fled. And remember Rama. Rama was the was the uh, was the town, the, the, the hometown of Samuel, uh, the, the last judge of Israel, the priest. Uh, Rama was his town. Amen. And that's where he judged the children of Israel. After the prophet, uh, the, the priest Eli had died. Amen. And uh, Rama, as you remember, uh, during the birth of Christ, Jeremiah had said, A voice is heard, a great weeping and lamentation is heard in Rama. Rachel, weeping for her children, are refusing to be comforted. Rama was the city of God. Rama was the city of the king. Amen. Or the town of the king. In the name of Jesus. And uh, so uh, Isaiah says that Rama is afraid and Gibea of Saul has flown or has, uh, has run away. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember that Gibea, Gibea of Saul, Gibea uh, was in the town, uh, was a town uh, in, the, in the city of Benjamin or uh, among the, amongst the children of Benjamin. They were mighty warriors in the book of uh, Judges. They had done uh, uh, evil against uh, the Lord uh, in how they killed the lady, uh, the wife of the Levite. And uh, the whole of Israel ganged up against Benjamin. And Benjamin was able to stand almost two times against the whole nation. Amen. But here, uh, Saul say, I mean, uh, the prophet Isaiah says that Gibeah of Saul has run away, has flee. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because the king of Assyria was marching up against the kingdom of Israel. And then again, mentions, uh, he mentions something that I want us to focus a little bit. In Ezekiel chapter 10 and verse 30, the prophet says, Shout aloud, O daughter of, uh, daughter of Gilim. Shout aloud. Give up a shout, O daughter of Gilim. Let it be heard as far as Laish. Remember that Laish was the old city in the book of Judges, chapter 18, from verse 21 and 22. Judges 18, 21 and 22. The tribe of Dan was the last tribe to settle in Israel. They were looking for a place to settle in the book of Judges, chapter 18. And along the way, they had picked up Jonathan, who was the Levite, to become a priest after he had taken uh, the idol of Micah. Amen. And the tribe of Dan found this city of Laish. It was so far away. We are told that it was far away from Sidon. It was so far away. They lived in isolation. Amen. And we know that the tribe of, of Dan, according to Judges chapter 18 and verse 21 and 22, they overtook, they overtook the city of Laish. And they burned it down. Later on, they rebuilt it and named it after their father Dan. Amen. And Dan, as you remember, Rachel, as she had given her a servant to, to Jacob uh, as wife to bear her children because uh, Rachel was barren. Amen. And she called the baby Dan, meaning that God is my judge. The Lord has heard my cry. Hallelujah. The Lord has heard my cry, my shout. He's a judge. Amen. And in verse 30, Prophet Isaiah says, Shout aloud, O daughter of Gerim. O daughter of Gilim, shout aloud. Let your voice be heard as far as Laish. As far as Laish. Amen. A town that was far away. And you know when God finally breaks the yoke, destroys the yoke, lift the shoulders of our lift the burdens, the burdens of our shoulders. He will give us a shout. Amen. He will give us a shout as we are marching up. He will give us a shout. Amen. You know, when you're marching, you have to shout, you know, remember the children of Israel, when they were uh, going to uh, take over Jericho. We have to shout. We have to give up a shout. Amen. The prophet says, O oh, daughter of Galim, shout aloud. Let your voice be heard as far as done. Amen. 
as far as lays in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. And going on, or going back to Prophet Isaiah, the prophet says that uh, this, uh, this king of Assyria, he will come to Nobel. Nobel is just uh, a few miles to Jerusalem. It was the city of the priests. If you remember David, uh, when he was running away from Saul, he came to the town of Nob and they gave him the bread that was separated for the priests and David and his men. They ate the bread. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore they, uh, uh, the, the town of Nob was the town of the priests and uh, the prophet says that the king of Assyria the king of Assyria will, hold, will come to a halt. He will come to a stop at Nob. Amen. And you know, it represents the church. It represents the church. You must always come to a stop at the church. Stop at the church. Stop at the church before we come to Zion. Stop at the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. For the provision of bread. Nob has said that is where David was offered the bread that was separated from uh, uh, for the priests. Is there where we eat the, the word of God? The living bread? John chapter 6, the bread that comes from heaven. As we are ascending up on Mount Zion, we shall come to a halt. We shall come to a stop at the town of Nob. And we shall eat of the daily bread or of the bread from heaven. The manna who is our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. And then he says, the prophet Isaiah says, he will shake his fist, he will shake his fist on Mount Zion, at the hill, at the hill of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That was how the king of Assyria was going to ascend. And this is how we are going to go all the way to Mount Zion because we are also marching up. We are marching up to Zion in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Lastly, towards the end, verse 33 and 34, the prophet says that God, that God will bring down everyone that is of high stature. He will hew them down. He will bring them down. Amen. He will cut off the thickets of the forest of Lebanon. Every high thing that is high, he will bring down. Amen. Though the king of Assyria will pass through Micron, though Midmana and Mikmash and Saul of Gibeah. All those towns, Rama, will flee before him, though he will ascend unto the hill of Zion, on Mount Zion, though he will stop at Nob, the town of the priests. God says, I will bring him down, every high thing that, that is exalted. I will bring down, I will cut down the thickets of the forests of Lebanon. Remember that Lebanon are these massive cedar poles, cedar trees that build the temple of Solomon. God says he will cut them down. Pride, everyone that is haughty, everyone that is proud, I will bring down in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will bring down everything and everyone. Why? Because God is the only one who is king in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we are sent to Zion, as we stop at Nob, the town of the priest, as Rama is afraid when we are advanced, as Saul of Gibeah will flee before us, as we pack our equipment, praise the Lord, at Migron, amen. Because the Lord is strong and mighty, the Lord is mighty in battle. Let us remember that at the end of it all, to stay humble, to stay humble, hallelujah. We are ready to go up, we are ready to ascend high, on the top of the ladder, to go on top of the ladder, in your job, in your business, in your career, in school, whatever area, 
My job to Zion. My job to Zion. Because the Lord is with you. God bless you so much. Let me stop here and encourage you to, uh, to read the whole of Isaiah. We have just finished reading uh, the whole of Isaiah chapter 10. Powerful, powerful chapter with the deep revelation, with deep uh, teachings. And we bless the Lord for his word. Thank you for uh, taking the journey with us through Isaiah chapter 10. We shall continue uh, in chapter 11. A powerful declaration, a powerful prophetic declaration about the root of David, about Jesus Christ. And you don't want to miss uh, chapter 11 uh, next time in this chapter, uh, in this uh, uh, channel. And uh, goodbye. Remember to uh, subscribe. Remember to share this video with your friends. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. God bless you. Amen.